What is a home maintenance task most homeowners are probably not doing but should? You know the exhaust from your dryer that vents outside. Pull the vent off. Take a dry vac and vacuum the lint out of there. You'll be surprised. Not sure I'd call it maintenance but installing a carbon monoxide detector is a good idea. You can get ones that just sit on a shelf somewhere. I worked with a lady who once told me when I asked if she had plans for the weekend. Well, it is the first of the month. So it is time to wash the baseboards. In my house. They only get washed if something spills in them. We are painting. Or we are getting ready to sell the house. Turn the main valve for your water off and on once or twice a year. If you do not, eventually it will corrode and stick and when you have a major leak you will not be able to shut the water off. Caulking around your roof vents every 3-5 years. That stuff deteriorates and it will leak. I can't count the number of homes I've seen with interior water damage as a result of deteriorated sealant around the roof vents. Cleaning the gutters. Having fire extinguishers on hand and turning them upside down once a month to prevent settling. Clean out the filters traps in your dishwasher. Lubricate garage door springs. Run vinegar through a C drain. Clean dryer vent and drain hot water tank. Turn your water shut off valves off on every once in a while. Replace the sacrificial anode rod in your hot water heater about every five years. Downspout extensions to five feet from the foundation. It's unbelievable that it seems no one realizes it destroys their foundation. They're ugly and I have to move them every time I mow. Bury them people. Or you'll be buried in the rubble of your house not really. Am I supposed to drain my water heater or not? Someone help. Run the washing machine at least once every couple of months at its hottest cycle to remove any build up soap in the system. I'm taking real estate law. I just discovered those homeowners insurance need to review their plans annually to ensure they have the appropriate coverage because homeowners insurance rates typically increase faster than inflation. About 60 of homeowners are underinsured in the U.S. Huh. I don't know how to do any of this shit. Me reading this thread. If your refrigerator has an ice maker, change the water filter leading to it at least once a year. Changing the furnace filter. Shorten the life of the furnace and decreases airflow when you want heat or cold. Changing the batteries in your smoke detector. Cleaning the coils under the refrigerator. Can you bastards with all your wisdom include how often to do all this stuff? Ugh. Termite inspection and treatment. I recommend cleaning your toilet at least once a year. Cleaning the AC coils the ones inside the unit itself and the condenser. Flush hot water heater. I fixed my own toilet a couple of weeks ago and I'm still proud about it. The tank wasn't consistently refilling so I looked it up on YouTube. Found it was a pretty easy part replacement. Bought the part and did it it took all of 30 minutes including struggling to turn some overly tight. Components and work like a charm. Probably saved at least a hundred bucks on a plumber. When my sister bought a house the realtor even gave a list of things to maintain and how often. Thought that was neat and hope more realtors do that. Run your sump pump hose far away from your foundation. Replacing the sacrificial anode in your water heater every couple few years. And draining out sediment every year. Using soaker hoses for your foundation. Especially during the summer here in Texas so many transplants have never heard of this. Sweep the chimney if burn wood. Bleed out your radiators. If you live in a country mostly Europe with water-filled radiators attached to the walls. You gonna bleed them once a year. It sounds brutal. 
but only means letting out the air pockets that might build up. Bleeding them increases heat efficiency and gets rid of ghostly knocking noises of the radiators. Clean the exhaust fan in your bathroom. Walk around the perimeter of your house during a heavy rainstorm to find where water pools so you can address those areas. What about the shower grout? If you're someone who has a disposal built into your sink, buy some of those foaming packets tablets you can drop in to clean it. It creates a detergent foam that fills up the cavity of the disposal and often runs up into the adjacent pipe if you've got a split two-part sink. This will kill any tiny gnat fruit drain fly eggs. Get rid of odors. And otherwise sanitize the areas it's a hard to hit. Just do it every two four weeks. Plumbing I unscrew my plug holes at least one a month to clean everything out properly you'd be amazed at how much crap gets stuck down there. Your pipes will thank you. I'd rather put a few quids worth of white vinegar and baking soda down there each month than have a major plumbing issue and have to break the bank for someone else to fix it. Changing air conditioner filters. I can't count the number of times a homeowner complained about the AC not working and we found a shag carpet in the filter tray. Pest control. Drain water heater. Clean dryer vent. Cock cracks. Replace worn seals. Change HVAC filters every three months. Yard beautification. This post is going to have everyone doing home maintenance at 3 a.m. Maybe checking to see if there's been a recall on their lithium-ion e-bike battery. Jesus home ownership sounds exhausting. Recocking your bathtub and shower. I don't know why I clicked on this. It's just adding like a million things to my to-do list. Keep your trees trimmed back at least 12 feet from your home. I just recently learned this the hard way. I thought they were trimmed back enough. But some a whole squirrel or raccoon used the tree to jump onto my roof. Chewed a couple holes through the wood trim. And let themselves into my attic to stomp down all the insulation. And pee everywhere. Cost for a pro to trim back tree would have been $1,100. Cost to evict this little sucker. Repair the damage. And get new insulation? six thousand seven hundred dollars don't be me vacuum vents clean behind your appliances removing the toilet seat to properly clean the toilet pouring buildup remover into the drains organic goo builds up on the walls of your pipes enzyme buildup remover keeps it under control cleaning your dishwasher filter or maybe other people do that and I'm just disgusting. At this point I'm scared of what's in there. Get water heater checked annually found this out when mine broke and home warranty wouldn't cover. It because I didn't get annual checkups. Same for AC. Change your faucet aerators, or at least the screen, every few years. Lube garage door springs. Apparently I was supposed to be lubricating my garage tracks and rollers. In addition to making sure the chain wasn't slacking. I've lived at my house for five years. Flipping out on your neighbor once every couple months to remain dominant in the relationship. Read books about homeownership. Long-form books. If you have a $500,000 investment, don't get her advice from Reddit. Crack books. Changing the AC filter on time. Every time our allergies act up it's like. Yeah. I need to change the filter. Cleaning out the dryer vent to the outside. Clearing hair from out of the tub and sink drains. Cleaning the build-up gunk out of the air conditioner's condensate drain line. Wiping the sealing surface of the toilet flapper and the part it seals to when closed. Soaking faucet aerators and shower heads in vinegar. If you live in an area with hard water. Regularly changing their furnace AC filters.